we're going to have a time this morning. Do you? Are you looking for it? Yes. How many thinks it's warm in here? I don't know whether the air is on yet or not, but I'm already in a puddle of water up here. By the time I get done preaching, I might have to baptize in here in the pool. Amen. Do you love it? Yes. Say, brother, open up cold. Move them arms a little bit. You warm up here just a few minutes. Hallelujah. Opportunity that we can come yes, and assemble yes, ourselves together, Lord Jesus, around the table of your word and on this beautiful morning, Father. We just have great expectations above all things concerning the fulfillment of your precious word. We ask you, Lord, as concerning these requests that the sisters, Lord Jesus, have made known. We pray that you uh, be with those, Lord, those that are in the hospital, those that are sick, Lord. Whatever the circumstances are, we pray that you meet these needs, Father. Those uh, made known by lifted hands, Father, we just ask in your precious name that above all things that you touch the spirits, the hearts, Lord, and let that uh, be the first thing of all, Lord Jesus. Those that are out of the ark of safety, that will come, Lord Jesus, draw them by your spirit. Hallelujah. We ask you tonight, Lord, that this morning is concerning yes. the remaining portion of the service, Lord, that let your mighty anointing be upon everything that is done. Each word that is spoken, each song that is sung, Lord, we thank you again for manifesting yourself Hallelujah. in such a wonderful way. And we we'll give you the praise, the glory, and the honor in the lovely name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Everybody say amen. amen. Now we're trying to find a song here. And we're going to find it. I'll fly away. How many believe we're going to? Amen. Hallelujah. Did you find it, brother? Amen. Everybody happy? Amen. Now I'm not a real good singer, so. Don't pay any attention to that. I'm not a real good preacher either, so that don't have a lot to do with it, does it? Hallelujah. Do you love the Lord? Do you want to serve the Lord? Have you made up your mind you're going to serve Him regardless of what the world thinks about you? I can tell you one thing, they won't think much of you. Because the first thing you do when you start serving God is start looking like the Word and not looking like the world. Start acting like the word and not acting like the world, so the world starts despising you. But at the same time, you're getting eternal life. When the people look down on you, God is with you. And that's what we want, ain't it? Everybody sing this song with me. Well, some bad morning.
the same school marching in. I can't find anything right now. But we got it, don't we? Some put back here, something. There is some back here. Well, that's another black eye for the devil, ain't it? How many of you sweat on your job? Do you? Hallelujah. Thank you, brother. Brand new. Won't be when I get through with it. Now I want you to get in. Now I know after. This service is over. We're going to go to Shauna. Some of us are. Some of you going to probably go to Quincy. Some of you somewhere else. Some of you Hardy. You're not going to be a bit bashful. You're going to go up, order that food, sit down, stick your feet under the table, and you're going after it, no matter who's looking at you. Well, you're at the table this morning. Just stick your feet on and under the table, and let's dive right in. He's got all the food we need right here, right now. You believe it? Hallelujah. Did you find that song? Amen. Yeah, Can you say, I love you, Lord Jesus? Now, I sing a little different than most people. If I sing this different, you just holler it out anyhow. Is that all right? I don't preach like nobody else. There ain't no use in me singing like nobody else. Amen. Don't act like anybody else. Amen. 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 I better start with a chorus on this one. Oh, in the sun.
I'm going to preach here in a few minutes. I'm going to read the scripture, but you can be seated right now if you want to. This might be about the oddest sunrise service we've ever been in. But we're an odd bunch of people anyway. So we might as well live up to our reputation. About the craziest bunch of people they are on the face of the earth, I reckon. That's all we don't belong here to start with. We're just passing food. So if we're not of this world, how can we act like them? We don't believe in long haired hippies. Do we? We don't believe in short haired women. Do we? We don't believe in painted face Jezebel. <laughs> Why not? Because of what? You mean I didn't make it up? I didn't know if you were making that stuff up. You know, it tears me up sometimes. I guess I'm just a plain old country preacher. But it tears me up to hear these dignified, sissified preachers on the pulpit, on the radio, on television, cutting corners, denying the word. Telling the women it's all right to do these things. Telling the men it's all right to do these things. Just come and join the church. You know, I believe that's the biggest problem now. It's not the people going to the church. It's the preacher that got in the church. That won't preach the word. And a lot of people say, well, well, I ain't never heard it. But then when you hear it, you get mad about it. You don't want to hear it because it comes again. What? You believe what you got in your head, but it don't matter what you think, it don't matter what I think, it's what the Word says that's what get us out of here. But just before I read the Scripture, we're going to be here for about an hour and a half, maybe. We start at 6 o'clock, we ought to be out here for 7, 30, 8 o'clock. If we are, that'd be fine, but ain't. If we preach till 7, 30 night, that'd be fine, too. Amen. You don't really care, do you? Me got up early this morning. Brother Dave, it's on one slap late, ain't he? <laughs> God bless him. He man. I got up early. I lived up there with everything I said I was going to do last night. Johnny did too. <laughs> After I left here, I went and finished working out, got on the treadmill, run a mile, and Johnny was snoring all the time. <laughs> then I was up at 4 o'clock, well, about 15 after 4, stretching, running, going after it again. So, so far, I'm on schedule, and here I am, right again, on schedule. And I can tell you something else, we don't know exactly the day or hour or the minute but we're going to be right on schedule again here before long. Yeah. We don't know what schedule is, but he does. He made the schedule. He got us on it. And it don't matter what we know or not as long as he does. Yeah. But one of these days, he's going to drop his hand, give us a signal, and we're going to leave here. Yeah. We're right on schedule. Do you believe that? Yeah. Who's going to leave here? The believers are. Yeah. Who's the believers? The ones that believes God's word, not some man-made idea, but takes God's word. Even if it hurts your feelings. Even if it makes you mad, you're willing to take it anyway. Well, but everyone, how many have I heard testify here last a while? You just told me on basis. You made me so mad, and I've seen somebody sometimes so mad, you, if you had had enough nerve, you'd have got out of sleep and come after me. <laughs> but you've seen something up here beside the man, and you're afraid to tackle it. I have made you that mad. Some of you women would have pulled my hair out. You'd have scratched my eyes out if you could. Because of the word. Not because of me. You get mad at me, you got mad because of what I said. Did it change the word? Absolutely not. And it won't change it. 
Now, a lot of preachers, you can fold your billfold up and starve them out. I don't believe you'll starve a man of God out. Do you? If he's really serving God, if he's preaching God's word, God's got fish out here. He's the creator. He, can give you, he might not create $100 bills, but he'll create the food you need. He'll send a buzzard or something in with a little bit of food to give you, and you won't be too good to eat it. The Elijah one, wasn't was he? Hallelujah. But just before I read the scripture, I'm going to take just a few minutes to let you jump up one time. Now raise your hand first so two or three won't be jumping up at a time. And just tell what you think about the Lord this morning. What he's done for you. And now don't you get up here and start talking about your job. Start talking about what you've done this morning. Tell me what the Lord done for you and shut up. <laughs> we don't want to drag this thing out. I don't care about you. Uh, <coughs> motor in your car. <coughs> I don't care what kind of door you got on your house. I want to know, do you love the Lord? So who wants to stand up first? Bobby? I Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Anybody behind? I want to say I love the Lord this morning. 
out the one of us, perhaps, that might would think that we were good and good as you know. Uh -huh. But I look around through the congregation and I said, Devil, you are a liar. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, God, those are among us that you know who made mistakes and what have you. Oh, my God is not partial. Amen. Amazing grace. Amen. Anybody else up here? Lord, this morning for being here, and I thank you. What he's done for me and what he's doing for me. I love each and every one of you. Amen. I thank the Lord for what he's done. And I feel privileged to be a little toad. And I thank the Lord for my family. I love each and every one of you. Amen. I thank God. That's amazing. Amen. 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 I will look at you again. I thank you for this evening and morning. I can thank that. I thank you for the cross for my Christ.
No, these so-called gospel singers on the radio got a song. I've been called out. I've been called out. We've been called out. Amen. Hallelujah. You glad of it? All right, you got to be somebody else here.
Better be like the ones down here. Amen. Somebody else want to testify? Well, Anybody else? 
Hey, you ain't gonna be bashful when you get out here at the restaurant. That's why you're gonna be past the gravy, please. Give me an egg. Give me a piece of bacon. <laughs> yep.
Amen. Amen. Even that. I'm so tired. I'm Somebody else?
Somebody? Brother Elton. Somebody have not testified. 
If it ain't nothing but...
How many believe he is alive? <coughs> Do you know why you're so happy? Do you know why you feel so good? When he came out of that grave, he made a trip. And he went and met somebody. Who was it? The devil. What did he take away from him? The keys of what? <laughs> Death and hell. <coughs> Took him away from it. Stripped him of his power. So he got power. Not over you, he don't. As I told you, I believe it was last night, his power is limited, but ours is not. Ours goes on beyond him because when Jesus went away, he said, I'll send you another comforter, which is what? The Holy Ghost. Which is God again. Where is the Holy Ghost coming to? In your hearts. What is the Holy Ghost? Not other than God Himself. Then the things that He does, you will do greater. You believe we're down here that hour now? You believe we're down to the third pool, speak the word, speak the word? Well, if God said the third pool will speak the word, He's got somebody here to speak the word. You believe that? And if you don't believe in that, we're fixing to go somewhere. We're getting something like we ain't never had before. Oh, I could turn and lose some preach. Somebody else testify. Hey, Lord, I'd like to thank the Lord. I, this is my first summer. I'd like to remember my grandmother coming to, and I, she said, Oh, I'm dreading it. She run outside of bed this morning. She's up ready. Uh, <laughs> hey, you don't have a thing to do with it, does it? <laughs> you feel about as young as I do, I bet. <laughs> you hug it. You hug it. You want to testify? I want to thank the Lord for what he used to me. And I want to thank every, each and every one that prayed for me while I was in the hospital. Hallelujah. I, I, when I was in the hospital, I saw something that I never told me about. Uh-huh. I, I thought, well, now they say I'm telling a lie. I was laying with, with my back to the wall. I was looking out for those laying in bed, and something, I don't know what it was, but anyway, I turned over, and I saw the face of Jesus, hallelujah, 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 I didn't see nobody, uh -huh. I was totally seeing in his face, and I said, oh, when I said, oh, he disappeared, uh -huh. but I prayed that somebody said, oh, that's just a lie, oh, no. and I kept it to myself, but I thank the Lord for what he means. And I want each and every one to pray that all my family Hallelujah. Amen. Sister, I know you've seen it. I know you've seen it. And that same thing that you've seen, the same thing that walked in here the other night and spoke through me and told me your husband was over there waiting on you and told you you were going to meet him here before long. Yeah. Now, Brother Elwood, if it had been Brother Elwood, he'd have told you this years ago. <coughs> but it's God now down here, and I want to show you how God told you. You heard of that Tuesday night when I spoke to Sister Joanne about her daughter. When I spoke to Sister Deb. And I was witness before they got here, and I know nothing about it. Well, the night that I spoke to Sister Gordon and told her about her husband, Brother Clark didn't tell me till on a Monday. And what day was it you was talking? That weekend, wasn't it? He was talking to his wife. And he told her almost word for word what I told Sister Goins right here. He was telling her how Brother Goins come down here a few times, and you remember what I said to her. And it's almost word for word, and he said, Brother Goins, why was that? I said, that was God letting you know that it is the truth. Amen. And then that night, instead of just telling Sister Goins, Sister, you held on, you're going over. Here he told her, your husband is waiting on you. Now here's another one. A lot of people look at and say, oh, that's a bad man. He didn't do this. He didn't do that. He knows the Lord. He knows what to know. And he's over there. I don't care what nobody says. He's not. He's waiting on us. Oh, my. He's in the building. He's all over the building right now. You say, oh, you're an odd bunch of actors, an active bunch of people. That's all right. This odd bunch is going to disappear before long. You ain't going to have to put that much muscle on her. If we're getting on your nerves, if we're tearing your nerves off pieces, get ready. You're going to get over that nerve spell because of us. Because we're getting out of here. When we leave one of these days, we ain't going 
going to Sonic. We ain't going to Pizza Hut. We're going to eat. And it ain't owned by Sonny. Harley's don't own it. McDonald's don't own it. Quincy don't own it. But Joseph does. And that's exactly where we're going. To his palace. For a supper. Oh, man, you talk about a, you talk about a supper. And can I tell you something? It won't be a bunch. <laughs> Huh? I 
want you to watch what's going on here. Some of you people, when you get out and the devil pulls you out here in the world, the first thing he puts in your mind, now people don't love me, they don't care nothing about me, they're looking down on me, and you don't realize they're on their knees night after night after night praying for you. And here's the devil trying to stop that prayer and say, oh, they don't care nothing about you. You made a mistake. You done this. You done that. They don't care nothing about you. But look what God's done for you here in the end. Look all over this audience. Somebody else.
inside of you. Oh no, yeah. 
She could be one of them. And she just met the rest of her family. Amen. 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 
Anybody else anywhere? God can do that. some more that has been here and got away. And I was talking to Brother Dennis last night and he had a sister that used to come here and now she's got a sickness that's here and I believe that 
It may have been this past <coughs> weekend. I said, don't be surprised if God don't strike them with anything to put them in here. Amen. You believe he's going to do it? Amen. How many times have you asked, Brother Elwood, pray? It don't matter what it takes that they'll be here. Well, you might want to get ready. Amen. 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 My, what an odd service. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you know you're talking about you might have to walk away with my kids coming in. Uh -huh. Amen. Y'all want to pray for my daddy's brother? 
I want you to tell me something. Oh, Angie. There you go. I want you to tell me something. Well, what do you think about Jesus? Well, what do you think about Jesus? Well, what do you think about
that you're going to be worth it all. Love one another and pray for one another until the night. And let me tell you, we're on our way over. Keep that in your mind. We're already on our way over to the other side. Don't you thank God for it? God bless you until... God bless you.